space has proven time and time again that it is truly the final frontier. The amount of knowledge that remains constantly elusive as researchers attempt to unravel the complex inner workings of the cosmos is astonishing. But scientists continue to search for answers, even though it seems that a dozen new questions emerge for every phenomenon that is solved or explained. As our technology grows, so will our understanding of space. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be looking at three recent space discoveries and what they stand to tell us about the final frontier. NASA finds mysterious bright spot on the dwarf planet Ceres. Every single planet in the universe is entirely unique, which means that with each new exoplanet that is identified, a host of unsolved mysteries and fascinating discoveries are revealed. The dwarf planet Ceres, which is located in the large asteroid belt that circles the Sun between Mars and Jupiter, is one such example. Ceres was always a unique planet when it comes to dwarf planets. Initially believed to be nothing more extraordinary than a large chunk of rock suspended in space, it still held the illustrious titles of being the largest asteroid in the solar system and the only dwarf planet closer to Earth than Neptune. But in 2015, when images revealed mysterious bright spots on its surface, the study of the planet became even more interesting. Photographs were taken of the planet by a probe, hinted at the fact that there might be more to the chunk of rock than meets the eye, as the images revealed strange, unexplained bright spots within the depths of a 20 million year old crater called the Okato Crater. Detailed study of the spots indicated that the patches were a result of sodium carbonate, which is a form of salt, but exactly where this substance was coming from continued to elude researchers. Finally, after several more years of study, it appears that researchers finally have an exciting answer to the mystery of what could be behind the strange bright spot. New data analysis has indicated that Ceres has been harboring a secret subsurface of briny water under its surface, with an exceptionally deep reservoir of the water collecting under the glimmering Okata crater. Researchers hypothesize that when the crater was formed, the heat and fracturing caused by the enormous impact mobilized the reservoir below, causing the briny water to shoot out of the rocky crust and leave the salt deposits that now glitter tantalizingly on imaging. Additionally, ice volcanoes within the surface of Ceres that appear to have been active as recently as two million years ago may have further contributed to more recent sodium carbonate deposits. Because the sodium carbonate found within the crater requires moisture, researchers were astonished when they realized that some of the briny water below the surface must have bubbled forth as recently as a few hundred years previously, which is a veritable blink of an eye when it comes to space timelines. This discovery is profound for researchers hoping to find glimpses of extraterrestrial life in Earth-adjacent locales because of what sodium carbonate indicates when it is found on Earth. On our planet, the mineral can be in hot hydrothermal vents created by cracks in the seafloor that allow heat to escape into the ocean. These vents have often been studied with relation to extraterrestrial life because even though they are untouched by the sun's rays, a necessary component of photosynthesis, an astonishing amount of life teems within these seemingly inhospitable conditions. Although Ceres seems to be nothing more than an extraordinarily large rock hurtling through space, the presence of a hidden ocean complete with glowing sodium carbonate could be a huge indicator of potential life. Even just microscopic life would be an unbelievable discovery. Astronomers see a nova explosion on a white dwarf for the first time. White dwarfs are small stars with very high densities that represent what remains after a star similar to our Sun exhausts all of the nuclear fuel losing the fiery outer material and leaving behind only its hot core, which slowly begins to cool over the course of a billion years or more. Typically, white dwarfs are not much bigger than our own planet, but boast a density of over 200,000 times as great. These unique features have made them focal points of study, and this interest was only increased when astronomers spotted a stunning and never-before-seen example of an X-ray radiation fireball erupting from a white dwarf. 
German astronomers operating the German-Russian X-ray telescope, Irisita, which is stationed 900,000 miles from Earth, first spotted the explosion coming from a white dwarf located in the constellation Reticulum. The explosion, which has been named YZ Reticuli, resulted in an image that completely overexposed the photon detector of the satellite due to the magnitude of the X-ray flash. These types of explosions are called nova explosions and typically occur when two white dwarfs are gravitationally bound in what is known as a binary system. White dwarfs are technically burned out cores of collapsed stars. Occasionally, they can flare up in a momentary resurgence and emit an incredibly hot fireball full of X-ray radiation, which is what occurred when YZ Reticuli erupted, virtually blinding the Irizita telescope with its vibrance. These explosions were previously known about, they had proven themselves to be nearly impossible to capture, making YZ Reticuli the first recorded example of a nova explosion. Olli Koenig, with FAU in Erlangen, Germany, led a study of the images and explosion and spoke about just how lucky researchers were to capture the burst, saying, It was to some extent a fortunate coincidence, really. We were really lucky. These X-ray flashes last only a few hours and are almost impossible to predict, but the observational instrument must be pointed directly at the explosion at exactly the right time. Previously, nova explosions were indirectly detected by X-ray telescopes, measuring strong radiation in previously inconspicuous areas. In former examples, by the time telescopes were pointed in the direction, the blasts would have disappeared, having lasted only a few hours. Having the opportunity to directly observe such an elusive event that has only recently advanced beyond theoretical research is an enormous step forward for science and the study of white dwarfs in general. Hubble finds mysterious disk of blue stars around a black hole. When it comes to space, nearly everything that is discovered immediately generates several unanswered questions and reveals dozens of unsolved mysteries, and perhaps no phenomenon is shrouded in more mystique than black holes. Recently, researchers were able to solve one such mystery, the source of a mysterious blue light that was observed by astronomers using the NASA ESA Hubble Space Telescope encircling a supermassive black hole in the Andromeda Galaxy. Although the light had been first observed more than a decade before, no viable answer as to why it existed had been found, other than that it appeared to come from a cluster of blue stars. This in itself was mysterious, as the presence of such a close supermassive black hole should have torn apart any matter in the vicinity, preventing stars such as these from forming. It was not until new spectroscopic observations were made using Hubble's Space Telescope Imaging Spectrograph that researchers realized that the light was coming from a cluster of over 400 blue stars that formed in a small, tightly packed disk around 200 million years ago. Surrounding the tight blue disk is an elliptical ring composed of cooler, redder stars that are much older than the central disk. Researchers measured the velocities of these stars as they traveled at high speeds around the black hole, trapped in the strength of its gravitational forces. In fact, they are traveling so incredibly fast that it would take them a mere 40 seconds to completely orbit Earth and only six minutes to arrive at the Moon. Todd Lauer with the National Optical Astronomy Observatory in Tucson, Arizona, led the group of astronomers that made the observations. The blue stars in the disk are so short-lived that it is unlikely in the long 12 billion year history of Andromeda that such a short-lived disk would appear now. Lauer said, That's why we think that the mechanism that formed this disk of stars probably formed other stellar disks in the past and will trigger them again in the future. We still don't know, however, how such a disk could form in the first place. It still remains an enigma. Although the mystery of what could be causing that strange blue light radiating from the immediate vicinity of a supermassive black hole, the fact remains that it seems outright impossible for stars to exist in the region at all. These discoveries, although still shrouded in mystery, will likely play a major role in the process of helping researchers prove ubiquitously that there is a star-forming black hole at the center of the Andromeda galaxy. John Cormendi of the University of Texas in Austin 
said that there are compelling reasons to believe that these are supermassive black holes, but extreme claims require extraordinarily strong evidence. We have to be sure that these are black holes and not dark clusters of dead stars. So for now, the search and the mystery continues. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.